the next chapter adaptations in different ecosystems in this chapter we are going to discuss about adaptations that are seen in different ecosystems in your lower class in 6th class you studied about an ecosystem you learned what is an ecosystem and you understood how different organisms at different levels are living how the organisms are interdependent and how they are able to live in the particular environment means how they are able to get the natural environmental factors and how they are able to live in a particular environment so we studied in the ecosystems and we understood that there are differences among the ecosystems of water and ecosystems of land and even we studied that there are differences among the ecosystems of uh, different ecosystems of water or different ecosystems of land say for example tree is a land ecosystem or else uh, you see a forest you see a desert so even on the land also different ecosystems have certain differences so that is what we have uh, learned in this chapter we are going to learn how an organism is able to live in a particular ecosystem live in a particular habitat you know what is a habitat it is a natural living place of an organism so every organism is able to live well in its habitat so to fit well in its habitat that is to withstand the adverse conditions of the habitat or the ecosystem to live in it will adapt some features so that is called as adaptation so these adaptations are shown by different plants and animals to with to withstand the special conditions of the their habitat so the place where they live in so in this lesson in this chapter we are going to discuss about a few adaptations in plants and in animals now let us take the first example let us see the adaptation in plants we can observe different kinds of adaptations in plants that is in desert plants we see so many adaptations so that is in water plants we see a lot of adaptations in water plants and even uh, we see the plants that live in some special conditions like plants that live in marshy areas what are marshy areas marshy areas are wet and salty areas swampy areas which are filled with mud which is very wet and the water is salty so that is on the sea shores we see some kind of marshy areas there we find some special trees called as mangroves so these mangroves are grown there mangroves are cypress these trees are found there okay what adaptation we see in the trees if you observe the mangroves if this is the stem of the mangrove we see that their roots come out of the soil like this so generally we know the roots are under the soil but in case of a mangrove the roots come out of the soil so why the roots come out of the soil the roots they come around some 12 inches above the soil so they appear like knees they are called as knees so what is the use of this knees even though it is not uh, specifically known the exact use of it but it is believed that the roots of the mangroves generally in the they live in the swampy area so the soil is not free the soil is not having any air just like the normal land because that is a mud and swampy place so there is no air in the soil so generally roots need some air for root respiration that is not possible here so because for that reason the roots from the lateral side of the root where the lateral branches come from that the roots come out of the soil that is for the root respiration so here as the physical the environmental condition is not proper to carry out its normal activity 
it has shown the special feature that is the external roots the roots protruding out of the soil about 12 inches above the ground so that is for the root respiration so this kind of uh, adaptation is seen in this mangroves let us discuss some more adaptations in plants so we have seen that mangroves in mangroves we found that external roots or knees which are called as knees so in the same way uh, we can see we don't see these kind of external roots in other plants because that is the adaptation of mangrove we see different plants around us they don't have any such adaptation because they do not need it they are living in the normal soil from which they can breathe respire through their roots so it is the special feature is seen in the plants that are living in a special condition so that adaptation helps the plant plant it helps the plant to live to fit in the particular environment so adaptation is the change we can say that it is an improvement in its physical feature to suit to uh, fit in that particular environment or particular habitat in which it is living so let us see the other one aloe vera what is this aloe vera aloe vera is a succulent plant which is having very succulent stem this aloe vera is used in very uh, many ayurvedic medicines you might have seen that the stems are very succulent and here the leaves are very much reduced so the aloe vera is adapted to live in a water deprived condition where there is less amount of water in such conditions this aloe vera plant gives the aloe vera stem is succulent that means it is very thick and fleshy in which the water is stored the leaves are minimized to spines leaves are very small and narrow so by that the respiration is less the water loss is less the water is stored in the stem in the form of some jelly some fleshy material so this adaptation is helpful for the plant to retain water not to lose water so it leaves because its habitat is water deprived condition very less amount of rainfall so when there is rainfall that water is stored for future use so in such a way the adaptation is seen in aloe vera that is the succulent stem even we see the cactus cactus even cactus also has got a succulent stem the leaves are modified to spines these spines help the plant to not eaten by the some other animal so they use that adaptation for protection also if you see a cactus plant if you see a cactus plant you will find spines on cactus the stem is fleshy and water there are some spines leaves are reduced to spines to reduce the loss of water so these kind of plants that have succulent stems and where the leaves are modified to spines are called as xerophytes xerophytes we see certain plants that show certain modifications which help them to live in water adaptations in water plants certain plants that water hyacinth we see that they float on the water so because their stems are succulent sorry their stems are having so many air spaces stems are having air spaces so because of the air they will be able to float on water so their roots will be in the water their leaves will be out of the water that is in the air so they will be floating on the surface of the water so by that the leaves can get sunlight and prepare the food the roots absorb the nutrients water from the water they are the water plants so they are floating on the water so which in water hyacinth we can see this which part helps that the stem is having so many air spaces so by that it can float on the water 